Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Jeremy and I recently got in an accessory for the Red Raptor that I have been looking forward to for months. It's the Kipper Tie Revolva RF to EF mount adapter and this adapter effectively provides an internal ND solution for any RF mount camera. But knowing the Raptor, no internal NDs, no internal NDs on any RED camera right now, this is what I've been waiting for. So the Revolva is a cartridge-based system, so you need at least one for it to function. And they have a few options on their website, uh, but for me, I went with the clear two-stop, four-stop, and seven-stop ND filtration option. And that setup, for my purposes, is awesome. To my knowledge, Kippertai is the only company that makes this type of ND filtration system. Other companies have cartridge-based system that are RFDF mount adapters, but they're all variable NDs that you have to swap with a clear filter when you don't want them. And Kippertai has the clear option already built in. And that's honestly what makes this so special and so unique. So not only do you not need to worry about threading on variable NDs to the ends of photography lenses, but you also don't have to worry about fiddling around with uh, a map box filtration system either. With uh, the Kipper Tie system, you don't need any ND, just leave it on the clear option. And when you need some ND, you rotate the little magnetic wheel here and choose the option that works best for you. I love it. So there are, however, a few downsides for me personally with this system. Uh, it was originally designed for the RED Komodo, which is a Super 35 sensor, and I'm using the Raptor, which is a VistaVision sensor, which is like ever so slightly wider than standard full frame. So there is a little bit of vignetting when you're using the entire sensor size. Something to keep in mind, and I'm the type of person that I like to shoot at the max resolution using the entire sensor, like I'd shoot at 16K if I could, I'm that ridiculous. So it's a little bit annoying, but also a small price to pay um, for the convenience of this system. So God forbid you crop down to 7K or, oh God, only, only 6K, what are you ever gonna do? Uh, <laughs> But yeah, just something to keep in mind for sensor sizes and what it covers. Anyways, here's some uh, sample footage with the Canon 50 millimeter CNE lens using the Kipper Tie Revolva, using the entire sensor size of the Raptor here so you can see the vignetting that's there. I'll also crop in a little bit so you can also see what happens when you scale into lower resolutions.
I hope you found that footage uh, informative at the very least. One thing I should add, the Kipper Tie Revolva does not operate like a standard EF mount with how you actually mount the lens. The vast majority of EF mount lenses and mounts, you line up the red dot marking on the lens to the little red line on the EF mount and you turn it and it locks in. Uh, this acts more like a PL mount. So you still line up that red dot to the marking, but then you twist the wheel locking mechanism on the mount and then it's secured. And that's certainly not an issue at all having that set up, but it's just something I wasn't prepared for. And when you're first setting it up, you should probably be aware of that so you don't damage your, your lens mount anyway by trying to turn the, uh, turn the lens. If you're a Red V Raptor owner and you also use Red Small HD monitor mount that they sell with it, you will need to buy Kipper Ties Riser, which provides electronic pass-throughs for uh, the Small HD and the top handle and all of that. The reason for that is the cartridge of the Revolva just protrudes up too much. Without the riser, you won't be able to clear the uh, the standard monitor mount. So don't buy the revolver and be like, oh shit, it's, it doesn't clear, it doesn't work. Make sure you buy the riser as well. Thank you very much for listening to me talk about the Kipper Tie Revolva and my experiences with it. That's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.